Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to the Bash Patreon server. Um, today I am going to attempt something that could be an utter waste of time. However, I'm curious um, and with such things, I need to have a go at it. So, um, I've started off with this. And no, I'm not building my own King of the Ladder dive boardy kind of gamey thing. Um, I am armed with mycelium and a bit of dirt and some fences and I am going to attempt to see if I can actually spawn some mushrooms. So that is the cunning plan. Uh, I've got a tower that's it's, uh, 26 blocks up. Uh, let's start with the dirt here and I think what I'll do is probably make a partial dirt, partial mycelium platform. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it nine, ten this way. And we'll do the same from this side. Okay. So that is 21 all the way across. So we want to go... 21 back this way. Hopefully I've got enough dirt on me to do this. Possibly not, but that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And it's starting to get dark, but thankfully I bought some torches. So 21 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's grab some more. We probably will need some more dirt. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think what we will do. But we need one more, don't we? 21. There's that start whacking a few torches down around this bit just so we don't get anything icky spawning up on here oh Simba as well everybody's joining up now random symbol there so in theory that should be lined up on the end there let's go back to our dirt We need to pop a torch. Oh, no, 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 no. That oh, crap. <laughs> Pepsi. Okay. Um, yeah, that went well. Oh, dear. Right. But on the plus side, it does mean we can grab a little bit more dirt on our way up as well out of the chest inside the base which is good because I think we're probably going to need it um, but yeah theory behind this is that mushrooms will spawn in mushroom biomes uh, yeah, we've got a bit here haven't we might as well take all of that just in case um, so yeah so if they spawn in mushroom biomes in theory I know there was a zombie over here, but hopefully he's not going to have grabbed any of my gear. Run, 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 run. Yeah, in theory, um, if I create a platform... Uh, where did we die? It was over there. You haven't got my stuff, if you know. Ah, there's some XP. So that is... Ah, there he is. Hello, stuff. Sorry about that stuff. Right, let's get our armour back on quickly. Uh, where's my helmet? Oh. Where be my helmet? Oh, this is just what we need, isn't it? Let's get it over there. 
there. Oh no, it's not my helmet, it's my boots, isn't it? Where are my boots? There's my boots. Okay, let's get ourselves back up on there. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh my god. Um, torches. Let's just stick you there for a moment and let's light this up a little bit as well. So once we're up here, we should be relatively safe as long as we don't decide to throw ourselves off again. Right, so let's pop one there. And it wanted to pop one in the middle here. Um, so, yeah, let's reorganise our inventory. Uh, let's be silk touch. You can go over there. You can go up there. Need you down there. You live there. You live there. And there. Don't mind me, folks. Okay. That'll do. Um, so yeah, what I want to try and do is create a mushroom biome. In theory, it should work. But, as with all of these things, you never know until you actually try it. So, this is the plan that I will build myself a dirt platform up here and I will pop my psyllium in. Um, hopefully that will then sort of take over. I can always go and grab a bit more. I think I've got about another stack down there plus uh, the stuff that I've actually got growing. But uh, yeah, hopefully that should then work and we may possibly manage to spawn ourselves some mushrooms, which would be cool. Um, I'll be honest with you and say I'm not entirely sure why I want them. Um, no particular reason other than I think it would be kind of cool. See, it's not to spread already. This is good. Uh, but no, I think it would be kind of cool to have some. Um, more dirt. Just because, yeah, there's not really anything quite like that round on the server. Um, so yeah, so that is my plan. To get ourselves a little platform going. So what I will think I will do is just while I get this finished off, because there's nothing probably more boring than watching me put down dirt blocks. So I shall pop this into a little time lapse just as I complete this. Hopefully there won't be any more deaths or anything like that of anything stupid of walking off of high platforms. But this is me. So, yeah, you never can tell. Let's stick you there, shall we? Oh, why do I always do that? I've got my wire across my uh, keyboard. Just cancel, please. Cancel. I don't want to broadcast. Thank you. Let's try pressing the right one this time. Yep, so folks, I shall carry on with this. Um, so do a little time lapse and I shall catch up with you when it's done. See you in a sec.
and we are back there we go right okay so we have got our platform down um mycelium is starting to spread quite nicely already which is good um uh, left a little gap here just for the uh the ladder which is just there so we can get up and down easily i need to pop another ladder just at that very top part there um i want to put a gate on it um eventually i will obviously need to put some kind of stairs to get the mushrooms down but the theory is once this has all spread um it's far enough away that stuff should spawn so the only thing i believe that can spawn a mycelium is mushrooms so hopefully that is what we shall get so what we shall do is hopefully safely get down the ladder we'll go and grab ourselves a gate which i know we've got some gates in the boxes with the chests inside the castle here so hopefully and then stick a gate up there's a the spider let's pop that up there let's chuck the rest of that into here we'll pop the mycelium in there as well i want the uh, i want the ladders still you can go in there you you and you and all this other crap can go in there those i'll leave out and gates there we go just the one mrs Wembley. so we shall stick another ladder up just to get us safety up to that top part and then hopefully she says we may see some mushroom spawns so i think we'll probably have to leave it just for a little bit so let's pop that there let's just shifty here for a second put our gate down and pop back down our ladder there's uh mob spawns have been happening okay on the server which is good uh, that's a good point actually have i got any saplings left probably not after now uh chopped a couple of trees down to make the ladders with and didn't bother replanting them because i'm very silly but that's okay we have got plenty of wood which is good so yeah so we can now leave that for a bit oh take a little swim and see whether we actually get any joy so we should go and throw this stuff back in here because there is actually something else that i wanted to share with you uh, which means that we need to actually take a little trippy let's just get rid of this lot oh no you're full have we got any room for you in here ladders yes stairs yes egg no but we'll just throw you a little munch and we'll pop back downstairs So we want to pop through the nether portal and go and check something out that we've seen how long have we got we are very nearly coming up to night hmm never good because i don't particularly like going visiting to uh, other people's bases at night because i am always so worried that mobs are going to spawn and stuff's going to blow up and then you break stuff and that would just be awful okay but we'll give it a try anyway so we are going to take a trippy whippy to mr random's house um mr random as you know had a birthday earlier on in the week um today's saturday and random's birthday was on wednesday um yeah poor bloke has not been a well bunny at all all week um as many as has been playing up so he's been really really very poorly since tuesday um i think really today is probably the first day that he's almost felt semi-human um so yeah a bit sad a bit of a shame but uh hopefully we are going to be popping out for a meal tomorrow um we're going to a restaurant it's a chain of restaurants but there's not actually that many of them i don't think but it's called giggling squid um which is in the neighboring town and I didn't actually want to go through here at all. I wasn't thinking, was I? Going to randoms. 
See, I can't do two things at once. Contrary to what people say with regards to women multitasking, I am living proof. Ah, oh, Pyro! Hey! How you doing? <laughs> uh, where do I want to go? Not this way. Uh, I know where I'm going. It's better. We're going to randoms. So, um, yeah, so it's a, a chain of restaurants called Giggling Squid, which is a uh, it's a more Thai restaurant than anything, but they do quite a wide variety of stuff. So you'll get your normal sort of everyday stuff that you'd expect to find in a Thai restaurant, plus some interesting other dishes as well. So that will be quite nice. It's not somewhere that... Uh, I've actually ever been before and I don't believe well random has um he went with work ah uh, look and there's his prezzies oh my god there's a creeper in there run away run away run away run away I really 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 don't want that to blow up but no, this is what I want to show you is this here which is random's very own Five Guys Burgers and Fries. So we shall nip in here and just have a quick look around. This is um, something that T Snow built for him for his birthday. Um, Random absolutely loves Five Guys. And if we actually had a Five Guys in the town we live in, I think he would probably spend quite a lot of time there. Um, he does work in a town that has a Five Guys, which is cool. Uh, so he gets to go there more than often. I've been there... Oh, I've only been twice ever. But now... We can come to randoms and he can provide us with five guys for uh, many, many times to come. Because I think he is planning to keep this up as a build. It's a great little build. So, yeah, nice one, T-Snow. Um, so, yeah, he was very busy. He made five guys fries, five guys burger patties and five guys buns. Giggity. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So, uh for those of you that don't follow random, I just wanted to uh, to show you this because I think it is absolutely fantastic. Just do a quick view from the outside. I think we're safe. Let's arm up just in case. But yeah, um, like the Five Guys theme is the uh, red and white check. Um, so he's captured that absolutely beautifully. I think it looks great. So yeah, there's Five Guys with Gollum in the background. Uh, now let's try and head back. I think through here. A little bit nervous because of that creeper. Don't like creepers. Creepers are very mean. Oh, that's Pax Present, the one that has the uh, iron golems in there. Uh, where were you? Where did you go? Oh shit, there we are. Oh, language, Timothy. Right. Oh, we're going to just have to deal with you, aren't we? <sighs> dealt with. Random, I saved your base. Um, let's get back over here. And let's head back to ours. And we shall see if anything is occurring. So yeah, so um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're up to tomorrow. So off to killing squid for a meal. So definitely let you guys know how that goes. Because uh, I do like Thai food. Oh dear, what's Simba up to? Okay. It's just still just random things appearing. Oh dear. She needing go stone. Okay, right, so. I don't know if anybody has been watching, but I have started playing World of Warships, and to be perfectly frank, I'm pretty bad at it. Um, yeah, I think a lot more practice is needed. I know three of the other guys on the server have been playing as well. Um, Pyro, Jambru, Jackaroo, um, obviously Random myself. We're trying to convince uh, Mr. Pie to come play with us as well. Because um, it's kind of nice. You can actually set up... Um, little groups of three sort of like little squads 
um, which is quite cool, which means that you can actually sort of play with a few friends. Unfortunately, it is limited to three people, but uh, we've played before where we've had a couple of squads, but it, oh, it's dying. Let's just have this. We've, we've had creepers everywhere else. Are you going to be in here too? No? No? Cool. But I'll take you mushrooms. Uh, any more? Not at present, no. Um, yeah, so it's it's been quite fun. So I've started a little series on that. Um, whether I keep it going or not depends on how popular it is. And also whether I actually kind of start to lose patience a little bit with the game. But hopefully not, because I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Um, it's been... How are we doing? Oh, goodness, we're only halfway through night. Um, it's Yeah, it's been good. I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, lots of practice needed, but... Uh, I said you can't get any better at it if you're not having a go. So the uh, plan for that is, uh, I think I mentioned in a previous video, that we'll get um, something from the Patreon server out on either Saturday or Sunday. Wednesday will be Sky Factory 2. And Fridays I am planning to be World of Warships. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can keep it going. Uh, it'd be nice to kind of get the ships leveled up a little bit and get to get to a point where I mean I, I can already play co-op battles. Well, sorry, play co-op battles anyway. Um, but we can play the other online battles where both your teams are um, all real peeps from around the world, which kind of makes it a bit more interesting because playing the co-ops is good. Um, it is a good way to get practice. But you are playing AI as your opposition. And the AI can be a little predictable in its behaviour. Not in so much as that it's... Um, you know exactly where every ship's going to go. But you kind of get to learn patterns of behaviour, as it were, of the ship. So you go it alone and you'll find that all of the enemy ships will start to target you. Um, so it's does kind of sometimes take some of the surprise element out of the game um we've played a few games so the the guys from the server um have played a few games together which is good and you know that way we're all sort of looking out for each other but because you're not playing the ai um other people's reactions are going to be a little bit more unpredictable than they would be if you were dealing with a computer as it were but uh, I think for me I, I need to get some practice in um, one thing I've definitely discovered destroyer gameplay is not something I am any good at so I am gonna need to work pretty hard I think to do a very good job on this have we loads of gaps um, yeah destroy gameplay I need to work quite hard on so I think sort of get into grips with torps get into grips with the fact that you've got the uh, chickens following me because of the seeds um, yeah, using torps is quite a new style of play. Um, also, you've got smoke screens and stuff like that with the destroyers as well. So, yet again, that's kind of something else to remember. Um, I reckon it could be a really good um, ship to learn. Or class of ship to get into, uh, into a bit more and get a bit more practice in. But uh, I think at the moment I need to kind of perfect my my basic skills. So, you really want them, don't you? There you go. You can have some. If it makes you happy. Let's just whack this lot in here. How are we doing? We are coming up on morning, which is good. So we can go and have a little looky and see if anything is happening. Up in our field of mycelium. We'll just chuck this stuff down in the cooking area for the moment. Um, but yeah, no, if you've been following the uh, the World of Warship series, thank you very much so far. Hope you are enjoying it, and apologies for the lack of technical information and also the lack of skill. But hopefully that will come with a bit of time. Uh, we're getting there, aren't we? Just starting to come up morning. We'll pop up anyway. Go and have a look. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? she says before we go out I could probably show you 
what I've done from where we left off in the last video. So in the last video I had all of this area um, I was doing the towers and putting the floors into the towers. So that's now finished. I've now floored off this part as well. This was all, if you remember, um, all just grass and it was all very, very unleveled down onto the lower level. So what I've now done is I've get to finish this, but I've kind of run out of slabs. But also I want to leave a little bit of room is I've actually put a stairway down and I've now dug this area back. So we're down at ground level as far as these towers go. So that gives us yet another floor that we can use. So I've now got to kind of decide whether I want to do... Uh... So I'm kind of thinking I might almost be able to um, join up with the stairway or get down into part of the base from here. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen if I dig through here. So I might extend that part down, um, sort of keep the shape similar and then maybe run another stairway down here and actually maybe change where the entrance to the base is or like to the lower level um, but this has given us a good area um, loads and loads of room to build in uh, lots of scope for adding different rooms if I wanted to rather than leaving it as a big hall um, but yeah it could be ooh. let's say hi to King Bee everybody is on tonight who have we actually got on now so we've got Jack, King Bee, me, Pyro, Cave Poppy, Simba and Pie so, uh, yeah, so this is, is coming along. Um, of course, see, we've got that level there. And then we have the upper roof here. So I'm still to decide whether I want to glass this out or not. But, uh, yeah, it could be, could be good. And one thing we obviously desperately need to do is to actually try and get some kind of character into the front of this. Because right now it is a bit stark um, obviously we started a little bit with the gatehouse there we've still got to work that out but we need to put some character into the front of this maybe start even extending it out a little bit putting some little kind of bays and buttresses and stuff like that into it uh, a little bit of detailing I think round the top uh, let's just make sure we've got nothing nasty creeping up on us we have not this is good um, but yeah some detailing up here um, just to kind of set that area off a little bit more, which will be good. I'm not seeing much activity up here, though. We need to sort of hang around a little bit and see whether anything happens. I'm going to pop up and have a quick look, but I think it's probably a little bit too early. Or it is just simply a case that this was a complete crap idea Utter waste of time, but worst case scenario, silk touch the whole lot, and I have got a crap ton of mycelium. Might be that it's not actually all spread yet as well. Well, it's very nearly has. Very nearly. So in theory, spawns could happen. It would be good if they did. It would be a very, very happy Lady Random if they do. So yeah, that's nearly done. Let's just shut you again. Let's head back down. So I think we'll probably have to leave that be for a little bit longer. So I'm kind of thinking what we might do is a quick jump cut. We shall leave it, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes or so, and we shall see what happens. See you in a bit. And we're back. Okay. So while I have been away, or while you've been away, because I've been here, um, I have kind of put that in. Uh, what are we doing? Let's put our stuff back up again. Um, I've put that back up. And, uh, yeah, it kind of follows down. Now, I could turn it into a big old fireplace, but that obviously wouldn't carry through at the top. But uh, I may well do what I said, turn that into a doorway and maybe make another stairwell down. But that is something I will have to do on another day. But let us go and take a quick look and just see whether all that mycelium placing has in fact been an absolute waste of time. So grab ourselves these blocks back. And just 
judging by the way that looks up there, it looks to be an utter waste of time. But let's pop up and have a look anyway. Whether people are having issues by the looks of things. But actually, while we're here, let's get rid of these, shall we? can safely say not a mushroom in sight. This may be something I'm going to have to leave for a bit longer. Um, as I said, it could be an absolute waste of time. But yes, I think, to be honest with you, only time or somebody who knows better will tell. But uh, yeah, so on that epic fail, I shall bid you all farewell and we shall see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye!